You're listening to FreezeCast, a podcast discussing all the latest news and drama in the Toontown community. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the fifth episode of FreezeCast. Today, we are sponsoring ourselves. More on that later. Please welcome our special guest for this episode, Soul the Slasher. What's up? Hey, thanks for having me on. Thanks for being here. So, Soul, the topic for today is personal hygiene, something you appear to lack. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I mean, I shower pretty regularly. May I ask how regularly? I'm on a bi-weekly schedule right now, but I might switch it up and go with a less frequent schedule. That's much too infrequent. But at least that's more frequent than Mega Snoop. So I'll give you that. Okay, well, what do you think is a good schedule? How about once per day? Come on, that's way too often. How am I going to get more than 16 hours of Toontown Wizard 101 per day if I shower that often? Maybe you should play a little less Toontown and Wizard 101. What? Dude, you can't be serious. How the hell am I supposed to level up my characters in both games if I don't spend the entire day playing them? I think your personal hygiene should be a little more important than leveling your characters in MMO games designed for children. Yeah, but hygiene isn't as fun as playing MMO games. It's important for your health and well-being. So is maxing my wizard in Wizard 101? It really isn't. I mean, I can smell you from here, and I'm in the Berg. And that's a bad thing because... Because you smell repulsive. I would not come within 50 miles of you. Someone standing downwind from you might pass out from the stench. Come on, dude. It's not that bad. It kind of is, though. Do you at least wear deodorant? Sorry, what was that? Deodorant. Do you use it? I don't know what that is. That's not surprising. It's not like I never shower. So I don't know what you're going on about. The point is that you should shower more often, like I already said. When did you last shower? Nine days ago. It's honestly astonishing that you haven't received any smell complaints. I never said that I didn't. My bad. I should have assumed so. Have you ever washed your hands? Nope. Never. It's a completely unnecessary extra step. And any second that I'm not spending on Toontown or Wizard 101 is a waste of my life anyway. It sure seems like you're addicted to those games. Is that correct? It's not an addiction. I can quit whenever I want to. That's what they all say. Anyway, it's time to talk about today's sponsor, except we don't have a sponsor today. We're sponsoring ourselves because FreezeCast is now available on all major podcast platforms, including Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, CastBox, Deezer, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, and GeoSayAvan. New episodes of FreezeCast will be uploaded to these platforms early. So if you want to be the first to listen to episode 6 when it releases, be sure to subscribe to us on one of the previously mentioned platforms. Now, back to the show. Okay, Soul, we know you don't shower or use deodorant. But do you brush your teeth? Or do shower! I also do brush my teeth, of course. Why wouldn't I? How often? About every seven or eight days. You're disgusting. And I'm assuming you don't floss? Nope, never have, never will. You do realize that failure to floss increases your risk of interproximal cavities, right? Yeah. And I don't really care. I've had many cavities before in my life. In fact, I have four right now. That's no surprise. Your breath probably smells like rotten eggs. If your body odor is anything to go by. What? Why is Mega Snoop calling? Go away. I don't want to talk to you. Sorry about that. So, do you at least use mouthwash? I don't own any mouthwash. No. Wait a minute. Did you just hang up on Mega Snoop? Yes, I did. That's unfortunate. I'm sure we could have had a good discussion with him. Whether or not we could have had a good discussion with Mega Snoop is irrelevant. You're the guest today, not him. So if you don't mind, I'd like to continue this interview. Whatever, just make it quick. I gotta get back to grinding for loot drops and corporate clash. Oh, really? And how's that going for you? Not too well, actually. 
I keep dying in every fight. Whatever, can we just get this over with? All right, this is the last question I have for you about your personal hygiene. How often do you trim your fingernails and toenails? I don't know. As often as I need to, I guess. And how often is that? About every two to four months. You know, experts recommend trimming your nails every week or so. Do I look like I care what experts recommend? Not at all. This next set of questions relates to other aspects of your hygiene, beyond your body. How often do you clean your... Get out of here, Mega Snoop. Nobody wants to talk to you. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Hey, you should answer that. No, I'm not gonna... You know what? Fine. Hello, Mega Snoop. You're on FreezeCast. Hey, can I get two Crunchwrap Supremes, four Doritos Locos Tacos, two large Baja Blasts, and um, a beefy five layer burrito? Or two, no three, three beefy five layer burritos. Hi, Mega Snoop. Soul the Slasher? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. How have you been doing? Great. Actually, I just finished a 12 hour session of Toontown. Now I'm really hungry. I hate to break up the family reunion, but we have an interview to finish here. Uh, does it? look like I care. Mega Snoop, I'll have you know I've written letters to Harvard, Yale, and Columbia, asking them to study your house and how it's still physically standing. Anyway, Sol, how often do you clean your room? I haven't in the last year and a half or so. That sounds about right, considering how messy your room looks in the background of your webcam. I mean, to be fair, it's very hard to, uh, to physically get up and clean everything. Yeah, I can vouch for that. It's like, why would I stop playing Tune Down to get up and, you know, put my laundry away or something? I didn't ask for your opinion, Mega Snoop. I guess I can understand, though. I mean, you probably have a hard time standing up. What do you mean by that? I think you know what I... Wow, what was that? Oh, my shirt ripped. That's unfortunate. That's the third one today. Continue. Wait a minute, I just realized You're what... You're a bit late to the party. Mega Snoop. And we don't want to hear your opinion anyway. Hold up. Who's we? Myself and just about everyone listening to this podcast. Wait a minute. What if my mom's listening? She'd care what I have to say. I doubt your mom is listening right now. But if she is, not even she would want to listen to you babble on about Taco Bell and whatever other fast food restaurant is on your mind at the moment. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I think Freeze has a point here, Mega Snoop. That's not fair. Can what you if? just shut up for once? You've already derailed this episode tremendously. Episode? What do you mean episode? Like I said at the beginning of this call, you're on Freeze Cast. <laughs> you mean this isn't Taco Bell? I wish it was, honestly. I don't know why he thought he could call Taco Bell through Discord. Mega Snoop's stupidity never ceases to amaze me. But let's just forget that happened and move on to the next question. How often do you wash your dishes? Wait, you're supposed to wash those? Obviously. You're eating off of them, so why wouldn't you? Uh, well, you learn something new every day, I suppose. I was just kind of putting them back in the cabinets after using them, but most of the time I just leave them on the counters or in the sink. Are you aware of a strain of bacteria called Clostridium botulinum? Um, can you speak English, please? It's a bacterium that causes a fairly rare but potentially fatal disease called botulism. Symptoms usually begin 12 to 72 hours after infection and can include weakness, blurred vision, and trouble speaking. This then progresses to vomiting, swelling of the abdomen, and diarrhea. And how is this relevant to the conversation? Well, because not only do you have a swollen abdomen already, but because foodborne botulism can be spread through improperly prepared food, mainly not cooking it properly or leaving it out for too long. Oh, that's unfortunate. So you're saying I should start washing my dishes? Figure that out on your own, did you? This whole interview has been an attempt to show you how unhygienic you are. And thanks to Mega Snoop, we're running out of time. So we're going to move on to some listener submitted questions if that's okay with you. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go. Here's the first question submitted by listeners. Why did you become a Clash partner? Well, because Clash is basically 50% of my entire life. 
If there was a Wizard 101 partnership, I'd apply for that too. Interesting. Here's the next question. Do you look up to Mega Snoop's health standards? Yes, I do. And I think more people should. If they taught that Taco Bell is essential for a balanced meal in health classes, I think we'd be in a much better place. Hard disagree. If we had a country full of Mega Snoops, we'd be doomed as a society. Whatever, next question. Question three, submitted by listeners is, do you even know what shampoo is? Yeah, of course I do. Can you prove it? How would I do that? By using it, or at least just defining the word. Well, shampoo is, it's the, you will, it's a, um, the, oh, you know the thing. Very convincing definition. It sounds to me like you've never been in the same room as a bottle of shampoo. Next question. Okay, okay, calm down. Here's the next question. How did you become unemployed? Well, because, uh, because my coworkers couldn't handle my stench, so they just kind of fired me. So let me get this straight. Your boss fired you because you smelled so bad? No, my coworkers did. Your coworkers fired you? Wow, that's impressive. Can we just move on to the next question? Our final question from listeners is, do you think your poor performance in video games is correlated with the fact that your breath is radiating out of this Discord call? I can literally see green smoke coming out of my computer speakers. Oh, that's probably not just my breath. I just farted as well. What? Well, on that note, we're going to wrap up today's episode. Finally! I can get back to playing Clash! I got a Max My Wizard on Wizard 101 too, so I won't be available for another interview for the foreseeable future. Bye! Well, folks, that was Soul the Slasher. Hopefully, he takes a shower soon. In the meantime, be sure to check out Freeze Cast on all your favorite audio streaming platforms. And tune in next time when we'll have an Are you serious? Again? What do you want, Mega Snoop? <laughs> That was gross. My apologies. I hope you know I'm blocking you for this. No, wait! As I was saying, tune in next time when we'll have a member of the Corporate Clash team on to discuss best practices for game design and development. This has been FreezeCast Episode 5. Freeze, signing off. Funding for this episode of FreezeCast is made possible in part by FreezeCast and by listeners like you. Thank you. FreezeCast is written and produced by Mr. Freeze for Justice for Freeze. This podcast is a parody meant for entertainment purposes only. The creators of FreezeCast do not condone the harassment of anyone appearing in or mentioned in this podcast. FreezeCast is a work of fiction. All characters appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons, living or dead, is purely coincidental. Thank you for listening to FreezeCast.